And guess what, everybody? Barbara Streisand has her first starring role in the... Uh, who cares? Yeah, that's true. I am not a fan of Barbara Streisand at all. Now, I don't know her as a person. She might be a wonderful, caring actress and contributor and, and very charitable and whatever. But as a personality and as a performer, a singer, I, I'm just not a fan. I, 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 I kind of get annoyed by her acting abilities and uh, I can only recall really enjoying a few of the things that she's done, including What's Up Doc, The Way We Were, and The Prince of Tides. I think all those films that I just mentioned are really good films that have so much to offer even though they have Barbara Streisand in the film. Now she has a new film and yes she hasn't starred in a movie. She's been in a few movies but she hasn't starred in a movie since the 90s. And this movie is called Guilt Trip which also stars Seth Rogen, Colin Hanks, Adam Scott, but it is mainly Seth Rogen is the son of Barbara Streisand's character and they're hitting the road as Seth Rogen is a a man who loves to create. This new cleaning, healthy cleaning product that he's going to travel the country and try and sell it. And so I went into this movie, I remember seeing the trailers and going, no, why not? I just don't care. I don't really want to see this movie. This movie has nothing to offer to me. I like Seth Rogen, and that's about it. I, I just can't stand Barbara Streisand, and I'm not excited that she's in a movie after so many years. So I, that's the attitude that I went into seeing this movie. I just had no expectations, no hope, no thrill, no excitement like I was actually going to witness maybe a nice character study, maybe some sort of cool relationship, uh, mother-son relationship. As I was watching, sitting there watching the movie, the movie didn't bother me. Um, it wasn't that hilarious. I was enjoying this relationship that was being shown on the screen. I bought in the fa I, I, I did. I bought the fact that this was a real mother and son relationship, that this had been around for years, and they made it so believable. They had chemistry. Barbara Streisand and Seth Rogen had wonderful chemistry. And that's what I was latched onto. Now the story is, yes, predictable and manipulative and kind of sappy, but it is also heartfelt. It's, it's nice. This is a very nice movie. And I enjoyed Barbara Streisand's performance. She gives off a very sweet, endearing, very real performance. Like she would, I, I'm guessing, you know, maybe it's not a stretch for her, it's probably how she acts in real life. I really believe the fact that they were in a, they were they were mother and son. As I was watching this film, I couldn't help but think of my relationship with my own mother and how much I'm grateful for her and I'm glad she's around and I sometimes I, I, I remember taking for granted that she was my mom, especially when I was young. And I love how it does tackle those issues because he's on the road and I don't know if I could ever go on a road trip at my age with my mother. This might be the experience that we might have had. This is a really nice movie that you could take your mother to go see, a nice Mother's Day. If this movie came out during the time of Mother's Day, it would be the perfect Mother's Day weekend. I think we can all relate to that, especially if we had a mom that was there and loved us and cared about us, even to the point where we were slightly embarrassed about their presence. And uh, and I love that it tackles all those certain issues in this film. Near the end, it, it really touched me. And, and I was surprised how much I, I kind of enjoyed this movie. Because I had no, oh, I just was dreading walking into this film. I had no desire to see this film. My heart was changed by uh, this very contrived and manipulative story, but heartfelt. And I, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this movie for what it was. It's not a perfect film, it's not a great film, it's good. And I highly recommend if you love your mom and you want to have a you want to see something that you can enjoy together, please go see The Guilt Trip. I'm Movie Man Chad. I'm going to give the film 3 stars. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and Facebook and please go to welivefilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. And also go to whoyoutube.com.